Here in the H5P interface, and I've just uh, been playing around with a uh, interactive video with uh, a frog video adding some information to some quizzes, and I'm uh, I'm about ready, so I'm going to I'm going to save this. And I'm going to export it. So I'm going to download this. And I'm going to go back to Frog. And what I'm trying to do is to set up a little um, split here. So we have a quiz where I ask people whether they want to see Frog video. And of course, the correct answer is yes. And then I have a control operator, which for high performance students, which means the people who chose the right one, they will see the frog video. And the other ones, they will see a nice video. So we'll make an H5P activity. And we'll first upload the frog video, which is this one. And that's it. And for the nice video, we will also make, make an H5P, but here we will instead upload uh, the standard video made by um, the H5P consortium. So that should be it. Now, start this graph, and I'm going to create two students. So now uh, we have two students logged in. And uh, they're going to answer the quiz, and then we will see if they get sent to the right activity. So, the first student would like to see a frog video, the second would not. And, and then we click on Next Activity. And we see that the two students see different H5P activities. And now if I, uh, I thought about, play uh, this how video... We can move beyond uh, using the existing frog platform I see to that I have access these to these we want um, to embed this deeply into another system different uh, so the elements for example I can answer a quiz that I mentioned I can uh, it says what are do a true true false question are the choices I made I can uh, read something that was added and uh, so on and many of the h5p activities um, they generate uh, logs which are sent in xapi format and uh, these are also stored in the system uh, and i can just quickly play this video as well you see that there's a, a bunch of different interactions here so drag and drop quiz so we have to drag the strawberry and uh, maybe not the strawberry, maybe the raspberry. Anyway, uh, what I'll do now is I will export the log file and we'll see if any of these interactions were stored in the log. So we see here the teacher starts the session. Teacher goes to the first activity. Chen Shi and Yan they both answer the quiz. Teacher goes to the next activity. And then we see here the events from Chen Shi that he um, attempted a quiz, he interacted with the quiz, he answered the quiz. Here's his answers. And he then uh, inter answered another quiz, and here's his uh, answer. And uh, then Yan also answered the quiz, and here's his answer. So this was a quick example of. Uh, configuring an H5P activity, uploading it into Frog, having a, gra a simple graph that splits based on a quiz to show different H5P activities, and how we can get H5P analytics back into the Frog log files.